Okay, this is one of the most critical lessons that we have when it comes to understanding the basic concept of stress. Right? You're going to find out that what we'll do today is going to set the context for the entire course on one whole half of the analysis side. That's the fourth side that you'll learn to uh, call the stress side. Right? So there are different scenarios and behaviors that will come along that will make us want to think about different types of stress. And the specific ones we're going to learn how to calculate today are the average axial, the average bearing, and the average or direct shear stress, as well as we'll look at some aspect of, well, okay, I can calculate this thing, but is that good or bad? And that good or bad is going to come to us through a model called the factor of safety. So we'll be looking at different kind of parts of things. For instance, here's a big heavy structural bolt, right? all kinds of interesting markings that you'll see up here on the head of the bolt here, and this is a, what's called an A490 torque control bolt. Here's the little twist off tab here that what really happens is that you put this into the assembly, you thread the nut on, and then what happens, one part of the torque gun will hold on to the nut and the other will spin th this uh, bolt shaft until it gets torqued enough that this will shaft part will tear off. We'll actually learn about that in the torsion section of the course. As, but right now we're going to focus on these three basic uh, conditions of stress and we'll have a couple of examples that we'll work through that are very uh, realistic. So get your uh, drawings of the Waddell A truss handy and available to you. Those will be uh, linked in at the uh, Canvas webpage and away we'll go here.